6th April 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children, don't make any mistakes through which Maya will have a chance to slap you. If you don't follow Srimad, Maya slaps you and turns your face away. Question What is the basis of claiming an air conditioned ticket in the Sandanasta Kingdom? Which children can attend that? Answer In order to claim an air conditioned ticket in the Sandanasta Kingdom, you have to follow Srimad at every step. You have to send everything you have to the father. Those who send the themselves completely are the ones who become wealthy. The Sandinaster Kingdom is air conditioned. Your aim and objective is to attain a Sandinaster status. However, a status is number wise anyway. So, the ones whom you are close are very fortunate. Om Shanti Only your children who are the decoration of the Brahman clan know the meaning of this song. At this time, your children are Brahmin community and you will then become the deity community. The father sits here and explains to your children when the unlimited father is in front of you and you are receiving the unlimited inheritance from him, what else do you need? No one knows when the path of devotion begins. Devotees of the path of devotion remember God, that is, the brides remember their bridegroom. But the wonder is that they do not know the father. Have you ever seen this before? If a bride doesn't know her bridegroom, how could she remember him? God is the father of all. Children remember the father, but to remember him, without recognition is useless. This is why there has been no benefit in remembering him. No one who has been remembering him has been able to attain that aim or objective. They don't know who God is or what they would receive from him. There are so many religions. The followers of Christ, Buddha and the other perceptors and founders of religions etc remember them, but they don't know what they would receive from them by remembering them. So a worldly education is better than that. At least they have their aim and objective in their intellects. They can understand what they are to receive from their fathers and from their teachers. None of them can understand what they are to receive from their guru. Your children have now developed the faith that you belong to the Father. Baba comes and makes us into the masters of heaven exactly as he did 5000 years ago. He makes us into the masters of the land of peace. The Father says, Beloved children, you will claim your inheritance from me, will you not? Everyone says, Yes, Baba, why not? Okay, will you be happy to receive the status of the moon in Ram? What do you want? The father has brought a gift. Will you marry the sand in to Lakshmi or the moon in to Sita? The worshippers of Ram would not want to hear the name of Sri Krishna. They have shown Sri Ram in the Silver Age and Sri Krishna in the Copper Age. They believe that Ram is greater. And so they fight among themselves. Just does little children fight. The father sits here and explains to you. He is explaining to you once again, exactly as he did in the previous cycle. You have come once again and are claiming your inheritance. Your aim and objective is to claim the unlimited inheritance. That is the Sun Dynasty royal status. The Moon Dynasty is the second grade. There is no class higher than air condition. There is air condition, first class and second class. So consider the whole kingdom of the golden age to be air condition and then there is first class. So the father asked, 
will you clean the air conditioned sun dynasty or the first class moon dynasty even lower than that you would become number wise yours and the second class and you would then come and add in a kingdom later otherwise third class subjects even among them the tickets are also reserved first class reserved second class reserved the status is number wise there is happiness there anyway but there are different compartments a wealthy person would take an air conditioned ticket who among you becomes wealthy those who give everything to the father say baba all of this is yours his praise is sung in bharat the businessman the jewel merchant the magician all of this praise is of the father not of shri krishna shri krishna claimed his inheritance and adan his reward in the golden age he too belonged to the father he would have received his reward from someone lakshmi and narayan experienced their reward in the golden age you children now understand very well that they must definitely have created their reward in their past there is a lot of praise of bharat there isn't any other land as elevated as bharat was bharat is the birthplace of the supreme father the supreme soul this secret doesn't sit in the intellect of anyone the supreme soul gives everyone peace and happiness for half a cycle bharat is the number one pilgrimage place however they have put shri krishna's name in the gita and this is why his means baba's status has been reduced otherwise all human beings would believe in thus one father and they wouldn't offer flowers to anyone else the father is the purifier of all the somnath temple is built to him everyone comes and bow down to shiv however according to the drama look what the condition of the world has become by them forgetting the one father this is why shivara comes someone would pick him the instrument the father says now become bodiless have the faith that you are a soul none of them knows whose children they the souls are it is a wonder they say oh god the father have mercy the celebrate shiv jayanti but no one knows when he came this is a matter of 5000 years the father himself comes and establishes the new world of the golden age the duration of the golden age cannot be hundreds of thousands of years the father makes everything so easy and says to your children simply remember me while living at home became as pure as a lotus vishnu has been shown with all the ornaments he has been given the kanshal and also the lotus in fact those ornaments cannot be given to the deities this is such a deep and serious matter they are the ornaments of brahmans but how would they be given to brahmans today someone is brahman and tomorrow he would become a shudra from a brahma kumar he would become a shudra kumar maya doesn't take long if you are careless and do not follow the father shrimat and your intellect speaking spoiled maya would slap you so hard that she would turn your face away out of anger people say i will slap you and turn your face away so maya is also like that as soon as you forget the father maya slaps you in a second and turns your face away just as you attain liberation and life in a second in the same way you also finish liberation in life in a second maya catches hold of such a good ones when she sees that you are being careless she quickly slaps you the father turns the faces of the children away from the old world towards the new world when the physical father of son is poor and the leaf in an old hut and he then builds a new one the children's intellects are aware that 
a new home will soon be ready for them and that they will then live in that and demolish the old one. The Father has brought heaven, paradise on the palms of his hand for you children. He says, we love children. He is speaking to your souls. He is also seeing you children with these eyes. There are many Brahmin priests in Kashmir. The faith the departed spirits there. They invite a soul into a Brahmin priest body. All of those are the secrets of visions. It isn't that a soul leaves a body and goes somewhere else. They invite the souls of their ancestors. They keep everything ready for them. They believe that the soul of so and so will come. They then ask that soul's questions. In earlier days, the souls used to speak. They would then ask whether the soul was happy and content. The soul used to answer. All of that used to happen according to the drama. Sometimes the soul would say, I have taken birth to such and such a family. All of those systems of visions are created in the drama and they repeat. However, it isn't that a soul comes. In earlier days, they even used to invite a soul into a table. Baba has experienced all of that. A soul cannot possibly enter a table. Whatever anyone did, it was fixed in the drama. And so it happened. You have to hold on to the drama very well. They offer a bhog and invite a soul. All of that is fixed in the drama. There is no question of doubt here. New people who come here became confused because of not understanding. The father is the magician. He explains, I am also bound by the drama. It isn't that I can do anything without the drama. No. When a child falls ill, it isn't that I can make him well and free him from having an operation. No. Each and everyone has to experience the suffering of their karma. You have a big burden on you because all of you are the oldest of all. From being Sata Pradhan, you have become totally Tama Pradhan. Your children have now found the father and so you should claim your inheritance from the father. You know that according to the drama, you claim your inheritance from the father every cycle. Those who belong to the sun and moon dynasties will definitely come. Those who were deities and have became Shudras will become Brahmins and then become the deity community. No one except the father can explain those things. The father finds your children so sweet. He says you are my same children of the previous cycle. I come every cycle to teach you. These are such wonderful things. Incorporeal God speaks. He would speak through a body. Would he not? When a soul becomes separated from his body, he cannot speak. That soul becomes detached. The father says, now become bodiless. It isn't that you have to do any pranayam, means breathing exercises, etc. No. You have to understand that you are an imperishable soul. I, the soul, have a part of eight four boats recorded in me. The father himself says, the part that my soul acts is also recorded in me. The same path continues on the path of devotion too. When someone hasn't drunk alcohol, how could he tell what its taste is? Only when someone takes this knowledge can he know about it. Only through this knowledge is there salvation. The father says, I am the bestower of salvation for all. There are the Sarvodaya leaders, those who have mercy for all. There are so many types of them. In fact, it is only the Father who has mercy for all. All of them say, Oh God, have mercy. So he has mercy for everyone. However, all the others are those who have mercy for themselves. The Father makes the whole world Sadhupradhan. The elements are also included in the this is the work of only the one supreme soul. So the meaning of Sarvodaya is so great. 
He has absolute mercy for everyone. No one experiences sorrow in the establishment of heaven. There you receive number one furniture and possessions etc. There are no animals or insects etc. that cause sorrow. Here too, great people have so much cleanliness in their homes. You would never see any flies there. No mosquitoes could enter their homes. Nothing that can cause any kind of dirt has the courage to come in heaven. No, there is the natural fragrance of flowers, etc. Shubhava gives you mango juice to drink in the subtle region. There is nothing in the subtle region. All of those are regions. There are such a good fruits and gardens, etc. in paradise. There aren't any gardens in the subtle region. All of those are regions. While sitting here, you have visions of everything. The song is first class. You also know that you have found the father. What else do you want? You claim your unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father. And so, you should remember the father. The father's directions are very well known. We will become the most elevated of all by following Srimad. Sanyasis say, this happiness is like the droppings of a crop. However, they don't know that there was constant happiness in the golden age. In their childhood, they are Radhe and Krishna. They haven't shown any divine activities etc. for them, means for Lakshmi and Narayan. The children of heaven are always very good. Although they may dance to the flute etc., they would not relate knowledge. Shri Krishna has been shown with a flute, means Murli, but where did Saraswati go? They have shown Saraswati with a sitar, and so she is senior. All of that is the path of devotion. A game of dolls, they create idols of the deities, worship them and then sing them. You have also composed a song about that, that is called Blind Faith. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, each one is under the control of this drama. Do not have doubts while seeing any scene in this drama. Understand every secret of the drama very well and remain unshakable. Second point, consider yourselves to be an imperishable soul. Become detached from your body and practice being bodiless. Blessing, may you be an instrument in everything you do and easily carry out the biggest task of all with the awareness of Kravinhar. Explanation Bhaktada is carrying out the biggest task of establishment as Kravinhar, means one who inspires, and he makes you children. Karanhar means one who carry out the task. The father and the children are combined in the world, Karan Karavan Har. It is the children's hands and the father's task. Your children have received a golden chance to extend your hands, means of cooperation. But your experience is that the one who inspires you is making you do it. He is making you into instruments and making you move along. He is with you as your companion in the form of caravan heart in everything you do. Slogan A Gyani soul is one who remains constantly happy means Razi instead of making request means Arzi. Om Shanti